<laughs> Seth Melmock is lucky to be alive after his Cessna 180 began to have engine trouble, lost altitude, and crashed in the forest northwest of Vernon. The pilot had walked away from the crash. Uh, very, very fortunate uh, because the plane had gone down in a wooded area. Uh, quite extensive damage to the aircraft. The pilot uh, was able to walk around uh, on his own, brought down, taken to uh, Vernon Hospital, uh, was checked out and has since been released uh, with minor injuries. He was a bit shocky but he, he was up and coherent. He had uh, removed the gas cans from his plane, shut the fuel off to the engine and he, in, when you first glance he was in good shape. A couple of cuts to the head and that was about it. Several area residents along West Side Road reported seeing the plane flying at a low altitude before hearing a crash into the bush. Put on cast the net and uh, came to the scene uh, and uh, I just lived down the road. Came in assisted with uh, extracting the uh, the individual out of the site and yep. then he's stable. Well I did hear that there was a person on an ATV that did see it go down and he reported what he knew to the uh, fire department and they were able to locate the site and there was also an emergency locator beacon triggered by the crash and uh, the 442 squadron out of Comox responded with their Buffalo aircraft and, um, but fortunately they weren't needed so. The plane crash landed in thick, dense bush along a steep terrain where rescuers say Melmuck is lucky to have made it. We've been involved in a couple downed aircraft over on this side of the lake and they've all been fatalities, so uh, this guy's very lucky. The flight originated in Chippewa, Alberta, made a stop in Prince George on the way to Vernon. Melmock is a pilot for McMurray Aviation but resides in Campbell River. Jen Zielinski in Vernon for Castanet News.